I couldn't graduate with the class because I, to go into the Navy, I had to go in before I was 18. And uh, I waited after 18, they put me wherever they wanted me. So what I did was uh, I went to the principal. I would say I had about three months to go before uh, uh, the end of the year. And uh, I went to the principal's office, told him what I wanted and uh, what I wanted to do. Uh, first of all, I came, uh, I uh, hitchhiked up here to Springfield to make sure I could pass the test to become a sailor. I wanted to be sure I could do that. And then I went back and uh, when uh, class took up the next morning, I went into his office, the principal's office. And he said, uh, what are you doing in here? Why don't you clap? And then I told him my story. Why? I said I would like to um, uh, graduate early, and uh, if that's possible for me to graduate early from this, my fourth year of high school, and he thought about it a minute. And of course, I think it helped back in those days when if you're going to the service, people did uh, cooperate very much with you, a lot with you. So. Uh, and he said, well, you go around to all of your teachers today and tell them what you wanted and ask them if they'll uh, make up a test for you, for the final test. Uh, so that's exactly what I did. And I think that it helped. <laughs> Made me have some, the tests weren't that too difficult. And I, uh, I think I graduated near the top of the class. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> but at any rate, that... Uh, that's the way I, and I got in early, and that was interesting. And that uh, was at age 17. Uh, uh, uh -huh. I was, uh -huh. his Still mother 17. Would, and his mother wouldn't sign for him, as his dad did, right? What's your, that? Your mother wouldn't sign for you to go in early. Well, that's right. Now, when, when uh, the, the, the guy, when I came up here and uh, 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 got, uh, took the, uh, examination that's what I thought I was going to but that was back in the days when if you had your arms and legs you, he, yeah. he didn't he didn't uh, uh, expect me to all often he, he said be sure you come back before you're 18 if you want to join the team and so uh, I went home and I told my mother that and uh, somehow or other my father was in the Navy as I mentioned already in the so, uh, I had, she had to sign these papers, and she wouldn't do it, I guess, because this was kind of dumb without me knowing about it. So somehow or other, she contacted uh, my father, and he came home, uh, he was in the Navy, I said, and it came from New York City, is where he was, his ship was, and he came home and he signed my papers, and uh, I came up here, Got into the Navy. So you mentioned your mother on numerous occasions. What was her name? My mother? Yes. Uh, Beulah Coates. Okay. Beulah. Uh-huh. Okay. My father was Cecil. Uh -huh. Do you remember the years that they were born, Cecil? No, I don't. You know, so no. They were in the area, and then both of them, I'm not sure exactly where now. Uh-huh. Okay. But they were. He's did, did, did your Did your mother work? No. So when your father was away in the Navy and you were in the Navy, how did she provide for herself? Yes, yeah. okay, she did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, she, you know, back in those days, they do that in the small towns and all. Uh, but what was interesting to me uh, is when I got in the Navy, one of the, uh, and as they say, the longest trip I've ever taken was I think I went to Jacksonville a time or two. That was a long trip for me. I know someone got in the Navy and had my uh, training up at the, uh, 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 in Chicago, at the, the, the uh, what the hell they Great call Lakes it? Naval what? Station? Great Lakes Naval? Great Lakes, uh-huh. Uh -huh. uh, then the, they uh, went to, uh, sent us a carload of us, or train load, and sent us out to uh, the West Coast. And uh, I 
they got on the uh, ship, uh, the USS, uh, uh, USS. Uh, uh, what kind of ship uh, was it? Uh, do you remember? It was a heavy cruiser, okay. the USS uh, Wichita. Any chance it's one of oh, the Wichita? Wichita. Okay, uh, that's USS it. Wichita. On the wall, right picture there. of the USS picture Wichita. Of okay. Uh, and uh, so let's let's back up there. But do you do you remember training in Great Lakes? Uh, yes. Oh, yes, I did. And that uh -huh. was the furthest you'd ever been away from home. Oh yes, it was without a doubt. Do you was it terrifying or was it exciting? No, it was exciting because first of all we had we had the best softball team in the whole <laughs> area, <laughs> and I got to play on that. So I thoroughly enjoyed it. What yeah. position did you play? Uh, present third base. Third base. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It was, uh, it was interesting. One thing about that, uh, uh, one day uh, we were scheduled to go out on the lake there and roll the boat. A roll boat. And uh, the guy uh, that was talking to us about how to roll the boat at all. He was a big guy. And uh, he didn't get his speech completed, and then we, there was probably 15 of us that he was talking to before we got on the boat. Uh, he uh, tried to explain to us how to roll the boat and so forth and so on. But he didn't finish completely until, because there was a black car came up, stopped, he got in the black car. Now he was a big guy and uh, took off and somebody else then come in and finished his story on what we were supposed to do when we paddled the boat. And I said to a guy that's standing there, just like me, I said, uh, who the hell was that guy? He said, that was uh, Johnny Mize, the, uh, the baseball player? Uh, the uh, uh, first baseman for the St. Louis Cardinals. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, anyway, that's the, the end of that. But now, when here I am, a guy from a little town of Halsey, and about the farthest I'd been from, grew up was maybe Jacksonville. Yeah. Yeah. No sooner got on this ship, the USS Wichita, and uh, uh, with about fifteen hundred other uh, people who. Part of the crew, uh, we were out in the middle of the Pacific, <laughs> and uh, that's where we spent most of our time at the Pacific Ocean. And our job was to uh, uh, to escort uh, the uh, uh, aircraft carriers. Mm -hmm. and they the the. Uh, cruisers and the battleships, they were very close to these carriers, mm -hmm. escorting them, and then way out on the flanks were the destroyers. And that's the way we we traveled in the uh, Pacific and shot down the jet planes that come over. So aside from, from active war drill stations, what was your job on the boat when, when it wasn't under fire? Oh. Uh, that's a good question too. Uh, the uh, at, uh, at Great Lakes at boot camp, for some reason or other, they gave uh, uh, examinations, and evidently my examination indicated that I was a, a mechanic of, with uh, 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 equipment I could uh, handle. Machines that, uh, uh, well, like that. Things that needed repaired. Yeah, I beg your pardon. Things that needed repaired. Yeah, uh, that like that. Yeah. Uh huh. And when I got aboard the ship, and on the part of the and the regular crew, uh, I got to see in the machine shop, and I didn't like the job. Was, was your title machinist mate or something of that nature? I beg your pardon. Machinist mate or something of yeah. that nature? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. You just stop this what, here. Is that somebody at the door? Is it anybody in front? No, I just came to live. I'll come back. Okay. No problem. Thank you. Okay. Just come back to the door. Okay. 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 Okay.
It was the nurse going to take your temperature or whatever. Oh. So you're good. She'll come back. Oh, cool. Okay, fine. Ah. Uh, what the okay, so we were talking, you were on the USS Wichita. Wichita. Uh -huh. Was your title, you were a sailor, but your job, you're a machinist? Ma machinist made second class. Second class. But uh, the way I got from there into the uh, ice machine gang, uh, who, uh, that part took care of all the air conditioning and uh, uh, ice uh, ice cubes, whatever yeah. you needed yeah. in the way of... Uh, uh, cooling, uh, I got into that, and that helped me get into that kind of work as I got out of the Navy. Right. I went uh, into uh, the college, I graduated from uh, college at uh, Peoria. Uh, Bradley. You graduated from Bradley in Peoria? Bradley University. Okay. Uh, yeah. And then from there, I went into uh, air conditioning. So let's go back. Let's right. go back to basics. All right. At Great Lakes Naval Station, do you have a first memory of getting off the bus and being yelled at, or was it orderly? We're, my memory of what I know is television and movies, and that's <laughs> not always the way that it is. <laughs> well, I didn't. I don't quite understand your question. Do you remember getting off the your bus when you arrived and being screamed at by a sergeant? You know, no. to get in order. No, was it that way then? No, I yeah. don't remember that. Yeah. Uh, uh, I did enjoy uh, uh, that the Navy. Yeah. And what I did, I'd enjoyed that. Yeah. So I was out of about three years, a little over three years, I think. How was the food in Chicago at Great Lakes? How was the food? Do you remember that? Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. They yeah. fed you good? Uh, pretty good. Uh, Pretty standard you know, that you would expect for something like that. Yeah. Yep. The reason I ask is because at that age, a 17 or an 18 year old is used to mama's cooking. Yeah. And then it's oh, switch to something. No, I didn't. No. That didn't bother me. Didn't bother. No, I I I enjoyed the Navy cooking. Yeah. Yeah. That was no problem. You're a child of the Depression. A big part. I said you lived through the Depression. Did the Depression did you struggle to have food during the Great Depression? No, no, no problem with yeah. that. But uh, yeah, we had our gardens and we raised our own food, probably. Right. Yeah. Right. And I milked cows. We got a milk cow, so yeah. I didn't have any problem there. Did uh, you guys raise animals besides the cows, like cows for meat or sheep or pigs? I, I misunderstand that. Did you have to raise cattle for food? No, well, Nothing? no. We lived in the little town, and we didn't uh, have uh, room to, uh, for any stock of that kind. Okay. No. Uh, okay. But, uh, and then we had a big garden. Right. And we raised most of our food that we ate. Raised it right out of the garden. Yeah. So, so that your, was no problem. Your mother canned a lot of things? Yes, she did. Yeah. And you had no sisters, you had one brother? Uh, one brother, and that was it. Yeah, what was one his brother. name? His Clem, Clem, Clement. Is he still alive? No. Yeah, uh, okay. No, my parents and my brother, they're, they're, that's the, uh, I'm the only one left out of that family. <laughs> and you're 96? Uh, 96, uh-huh. Yeah. When is your birthday? Uh, April 30th. April 30th, what year? Uh, 1925. Okay, all uh -huh. right. So you were uh, But what I like, I didn't finish my story. Sure. There. Uh, I, as I said, I grew up in this little town, and before long, I was out in the middle of the Pacific. And uh, that uh, was interesting to me. Well, let me back up. Okay. How did you get from Chicago to, I guess, San Diego or San Francisco? I, I went to uh, San Francisco. Okay. There was train load. Trains. Okay. Train, uh -huh. Yeah. And how, and how many days did that take? Get that well, train. That's train? a good question. To get from uh, from Chicago to uh, New York to uh, San Francisco, that was I think a couple of three days. I, I, for I, for a country boy from small town Illinois, that trip across the Great Plains must have been very amazing for you. Well, it was interesting. Yeah. 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 Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. It was. And 
then uh, you hit the Golden Gate. That had to just be mind blowing. <laughs> huh? Jacksonville. No, one thing I do there. remember is uh, I, I first of all this uh, USS Wichita, my ship. Yeah. We got on that to ride over to uh, to uh, Pearl Harbor. Okay. Uh, So we'll start again. Hang on. Um, so we we're talking about your trip on the Wichita to Pearl Harbor. Yes. Uh, and I rode over there as a passenger. Well, there was probably 1,500 of us. Uh, they, uh, well, there's that, uh, the, the crew, the amount now of the crew was about 1,500 men. And <laughs> Well, there were probably another 1,500 went over to Pearl Harbor on the ship as passengers. And when we got there, within about three or weeks, I was put, uh, ordered to go to the, uh, Wichita uh, as a passenger, as a, uh, uh, a mate, right. uh, as a crewman. But when we left San Francisco, uh, they had fed us uh, spaghetti and meatballs. And uh, we weren't actually, they, that was dinner time. They fed us those spaghetti and meatballs. And we weren't outside the site of the land before that spaghetti and meatball <laughs> was all over the ship. <laughs> I always <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah. They were spread out all over. <laughs> Too much heavy pasta. <laughs> <laughs> so, but another thing that uh, that I uh, learned: uh, the crew aboard the ship and uh, out out in the middle of the Pacific. A lot of the crew members were Southerners. Now here I am. From a little town in the Garden Spot of the Middle West, you know, <laughs> Illinois, and uh, I, I've been I maybe whatever fifteen or twenty miles from home as far as I've ever been. Now I got the Navy out in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, and that's a hell of a big ocean. And uh, here a, a bunch of the crewmen were from uh, uh, the South, and we spent days fighting the Civil War over <laughs> Some I, things never Here I was from a little town and never thought much about the Civil War, and now these guys, uh, they, uh, they didn't like the idea that, uh, that uh, the well, they, they didn't like Abraham Lincoln mm -hmm. much because they f wanted to have a separate uh, country, the way they talked. The Southerners were in the South, Northerners, if you stay in the North, we'll do fine. And what was that? Uh, uh, he, <laughs> Abraham Lincoln was about the only guy, not too many, that felt like... <laughs> having them, everybody together, because back when he made that, uh, what was that called? That he Procl made that? The, the proclamation. Proclamation, that's what I'm trying to Emancipation say. Emancipation Proclamation. He was probably the only one yeah. <laughs> in, the, in the entire country that felt that way. Yeah. And I always, I, I didn't realize that until I had that experience aboard this ship. So you openly saw racism I beg your pardon? So you openly saw racism. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, I did. Uh-huh. Were there any blacks, African-Americans? No, oh, that was the other thing. They were, I think, four blacks, five blacks. The only thing, reason they were there, they took care of the officer's quarters. Yeah. How times have changed, right? Yeah, yeah. And how they haven't changed also. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, that's true. Yeah. But uh, they're better certainly now than they were then. Yes, I, that's right. I, I hope. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. 
So you remember your trip to Pearl Harbor, and, and that was pre-December 7th or after? After December 7th. After. Uh-huh. Okay. Let's, yeah. go, let's go back to December 7th. Were you in the Navy or not? Oh, no. I wasn't in the Navy. So you signed up after December 7th. After, after December 7th. Let's go back to Alsea. Okay. What do you remember? How were you made aware of the bombing of Pearl Harbor? How did it get to you? I was... Uh, uh, on, uh, that was on a Sunday that yep. happened. Yep. Sunday at Alsea, back in those days, in a restaurant, they had uh, uh, papers, or uh, newspapers, with the funnies all, you know, yep. a lot of funnies on Sunday morning. And I was sitting in the restaurant reading those funnies. And <laughs> the word come over that they was said, going on to us something in Pearl Harbor, and I wasn't quite sure where that was then. But anyway, so there was a, somebody in the restaurant, an elderly guy, he says, well, it's at Pearl Harbor. He says, it's not very big. They shouldn't want that war. It shouldn't last very long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so. so your first, when you pulled into Pearl, uh -huh. What did you think of that? Because when you went from San Francisco to, to Pearl, Pearl Harbor, were you alone? You're the Wichita by itself. Uh, oh. Or did many you ships found, go together? Uh, I'm not quite sure. I don't remember another ship uh, except us. Sure, uh -huh. sure. But it was interesting. The uh, uh, Pearl Harbor was Pearl Harbor then. And... Uh, but the, uh, uh, the Navy made it uh, uh, kind of like a, uh, uh, our, uh, here, our uh, state fair. Yeah. Uh, they made it at the time uh, uh, for uh, our Navy men uh, could, to enjoy it when they got on the beach. Could just go on with, I think they had... Um, uh, you could throw a baseball at the, the bottles like you do. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> stuff like that. Yeah. It was made that way. Entertainment for uh, yeah, for the yeah. Yeah. and which was not a bad idea. Right. Uh, of course, after you've been out ship 